I'm hoping to ask you to clarify more about what's happening with religious groups because uh, I think I heard you say that you can have small gatherings outdoors before April, but not until April will people be allowed to have indoor uh, religious services. If you could just clarify what the timeline is. Yeah, so we are working uh, with uh, the, um, Rabbi Dome has uh, has a, a panel, if you will, of different uh, faith leaders who have been so helpful. Uh, it's like um, each of the other sectors that we worked in. Um, so with sport, we had Via Sport and representatives from different sports to help us develop uh, the guidelines for how we can have sport reopening. And that that's coming as well in April. So there's three things that we are looking at in the last couple of weeks uh, through this process with, uh, with Dr. Dome. One is uh, about outdoor services. And so we have come up with some guidelines for outdoor services and we'll be looking at uh, uh, putting a class variance, it's called, uh, to in the next couple of days that with the guidelines for how safe outdoor services can be held for religious groups who want to do that. And let me make this very clear, and I've heard this from many faith leaders, that they understand that we're still in a very precarious situation um, and some communities absolutely are not yet ready um, to have in-person services. And some communities, um, it can be done perfectly safely. So um, these are the things that we are putting in place with their advice. The second one is around um, the, the important holidays. So uh, we know that for, uh, for Christians, Easter and uh, for people of the Jewish faith that uh, Passover are two very important holidays that are coming up at the end of this month. So we have been consulting through this process to, to see how we can have some limited in-person gatherings for those very important um, celebrations and do that safely. And again, it will depend. Um, I've heard from uh, the leaders in those communities that you know, some uh, some churches or synagogues are finding other ways to have those services. But for some, um, it will be very important to have some limited indoor um, access for those important uh, celebrations and we're looking at how we can do that and we'll have uh, guidance on that uh, I'm hoping early next week for people and then finally we're using the process to help understand how we can have a phase safe reopening to uh, in-person religious services across the board over the next few months and uh, the, the target for that um, based on the advice that uh, I'll be getting we'll be getting in the next uh, few weeks I, I'm hopeful um, that that we're looking at sometime in, in the middle of April. So those are all um, flexible uh, depending on the advice that I'm giving about what are the important things that we need to take into consideration. Then of course from the public health perspective, um, you know, how much transmission we're seeing in what communities and our public health resources to be able to manage and, and work with on outbreaks and, uh, and clusters and the case and contact tracing that's so important. So those will all drive how we can do this over the next few months.